Capricana coming to you with the final reading, or not the final reading in this series, but the final reading for the evening. So go ahead and subscribe, like, and check out my other videos in this series. I wanted to do this one um, live, if you will, because I wanted to be able to explain these real well. Not that I don't explain my um, voiceovers really well, but this one and those that are going to be like this one are going to be done like this, or I'm going to do it face to face. Anyway. This is a reading about Lady KP, and I pulled Lady KP's cards because for some reason she kept coming up, y'all. She kept coming up in every spread that I did about the people surrounding Puff. She came up in the last reading I did with Puff and Carisha um, and what he wants out of her. She came up then issuing warnings or not issuing warnings or stating warnings, and she did the same thing now. But I honestly feel like she's worried about her children. Um, I don't think that she's not worried about anybody else, but for some reason she's worried about her children being taken care of. Not that Puff is not providing for them financially, but she does not want her children to suffer the same fate, specifically her daughters. Okay. Specifically her daughters. She does not want her daughters to be pimped out by this industry, knowing that Sean Puffy Combs is their father. Um, People may decide to exact revenge on him. Puffed and shit on a whole lot of people. Puffed and did a whole lot of shit. And now that Lady KP is not here to defend and protect her children, she's scared. Particularly, she's scared for her daughters. Again, because she knows what kind of man Puff is. Puff is coming in underneath total moon energy. Although he is in a position of losing right now, he still has power, y'all, okay? Do not believe that this man is no longer a threat. Do not believe that he is no longer a danger. Do not believe he's no longer intimidating to those that are around him. Because remember, I told y'all there were people that were going to keep secrets or keep the secrets. There are people that, that are coming forth, but there are going to be people that are going to not say anything. There are going to be young women that are not going to come forward. So we will not see all of Diddy's victims. Those that are coming forth are just those who have the courage and have decided that it's time to get this taken care of because he's been untouched for so long. And then there are those that are lying. A lot of the cases are going to fall off, but those that have really been victimized, they may not necessarily get hurt. Those that have um voluntarily participated in the shit, those are the ones y'all are hearing from. Y'all are not hearing from the real victims because something nefarious has happened to them. And that's what Lady KP is shouting from beyond the grave. Don't y'all believe that this man is is innocent? She's warning us, you know, don't don't let him do this shit. But anyway, while Lady KP was alive, she knew exactly what had to be done or what needed to be done because not only did she know of the things that Puff had going on, shit, she was privy to him by she saw him. She experienced them. And she knew that this shit was getting ready to get out of control, so she started writing that damn book. And that book was going to be heavy, honey. She know where all of the motherfucking bones is buried. Not only the bones regarding their relationship, but these outside side relationships and all of them dicks that puffed and then swore it against. You know, she knows about all the booty holes he done played in. And that's not all, you know. There's a lot of uh, shit that involves money, like embezzlement and shit that has gone on that Puff has contributed to you know she knows about what he's done with these people's royalties she knows what what had gone on behind the scenes so kim began writing that book she went within herself and she found the strength to stand up in that book i believe that she was gonna say look don't y'all don't think that this is gonna be a romanticized version of the tales about this man and she was warning us not to allow him to romanticize what went on or allow him to play in our face because he's a master manipulator. All of these years, Puff has been this, you know, people from the nineties or some of us from the night, some of y'all is being delusional and acting like you um, don't know that Puff motherfucking ass did this shit or that you hadn't heard the stories of it, but y'all know he's did this shit, which is what Lady KP was warning. You know, don't let him romanticize or weasel his way out of shit or pretend to be, love you know that's what she was warning us don't let him do this because he's a monster like i told y'all there are going to be victims that are just going to sit back and cry because they don't have the means necessary to fight a sean puffy combs and some of them are extremely scared 
You better believe Puff is still doing some witness intimidation. He's still paying some people off. He's still making opportunities to people. He's still doing what he normally would do when it came to shit like this. He's not stupid, y'all. He's not going to just sit back and allow his, his kingdom, so to speak, to fall. Now, is it over for him musically? That remains to be seen because you niggas let Takashi 6 9 back in like there was, it was just no problem. So we're, that remains to be seen. But we're going to continue to talk about Lady KP and what she's exposing in this book. She was going to expose about these sex trafficked traffic young girls. And y'all remember in the reading I just did about Young Miami, Young Miami has now taken on that role of helping him traffic these little girls, okay? And these are young women. And not only are they young women, these are young men, young feminine boys, okay? These are young people who need a help up or, or who need a helping hand. Or maybe he just preyed on them because he knew they were young and stupid. And there are also women who Puff has made get rid of children. He may have some extra kids out there. Or he may have assisted in the murder of some children because he beat some people. He beat a whole lot of them women. And unfortunately, a lot of those people are no longer on this side of creation to be able to tell their story or to stand up to him. This is what Lady KP's book was going to reveal. And this is what she, I feel, according to the cards I'm pulling. Now, if you get something else, go ahead and add it, drop it in the comments. I am so open, you know, because the more of us that read on this, the more sooner we'll see exactly what happened to Lady KP. And I'm going to get to that in my reading too, because a lot of y'all ain't going to agree with me, but watch this. Lady KP already talking about some of the people that were beaten to death or were beaten or dead. And they're not going, they're not here to be able to tell their stories and they aren't, and shit, she's not lying because she's one of them. But let's talk about where Cassie fits in this as one of the people who was beat up and see, although she went through her shit, I don't want y'all to think of her as poor Cassie. Because she voluntarily participated in a lot of this shit. Most of it that she got money for. And the only reason why she got the money is because she was close enough to the shit to where that she could tell all of it if she wanted to. See, Cassie wasn't looking out for anyone else but herself because her and her husband's money was low. She ain't as clean as y'all trying to make her out to be. I'm not saying Puff did not do that shit to her because he did beat her ass up a couple times. He absolutely did, knowing that from seeing the way she was moving on TV and from, you know, inside sources. I told y'all my ex-husband used to rap, okay? And he had two producers around him that used to tell the tales of these niggas, and I think that I'm going to share them with y'all, but not in this reading. But anyway, Cassie got wind of what uh, Lady KP was going to do, and she devised, she devised a plan. She devised... A plan of not to help Kate, Lady KP. You see, she's snaky. She's thinking about what she needs in this situation or how she can come up. She's thinking about herself and none of the other victims. She's thinking, how can I be the one that is the only one or the first one to come out and say something so I can benefit the most? And she feels justified in his reasoning because shit. She feels like I suffered enough with him. You know, that's on them other bitches. They, they get what they get. That's why she closed that case and there's nothing else coming out of her mouth because she has no intent on helping anyone else. So what did Cassie do? Being, you know, the, the phenotypical slick young bitch that she was. Younger than Lady KP, you know. She decided to get word to Puff. Because like I said, she wanted to be the one to come up off of it. She wanted to be the only one or the first one to get the most money from up under this situation. Cause she knew it was coming. She didn't want to have to share with anybody else. And again, she does not care about anybody else. It was all what she could get. So what did she do? She fucked shit up and she left. She made sure not by herself. She should have might have sent Puff a blind item or dropped it on the motherfucking blogs. Or she may have directly got word to Puff that this is what Lady KP was going to do. And she was telling him what could be in that book. And the shit started sounding too truthful. So Puff was like, oh no, I can't have that. Let me make sure I take my time and see what I can do to get this situation cleared away without anybody paying attention. And that's what he did. Kim was still dealing with him while she was trying to do this. This is where her mistake was made. 
this is what she's warning women of also with the um the uh hang on card don't play with this dude okay she's telling y'all although the stories is funny he's screwing meek mill and everybody else and we're gonna talk about the other dick suckers in hip-hop too y'all again i got inside and tell but anyway she's telling y'all don't play with this nigga okay Regardless of what, he still got the money and the means to make anything happen that he wants to. And that's exactly what he did to her. See, he had buttered her all up and my queen, my this, my that. And be, remember, he knows about that book. And then all of a sudden, he here comes these stories about her going overseas. Or let me pull out the going overseas. Oh, no, it hasn't come up yet. These stories came up about her going overseas and traveling and being sick and da 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 da. We never really heard KP say that she was sick publicly, right? And I'm not saying that she had to tell us, but wasn't it a bit weird to y'all the way that they came and collected her body? The way that, not that the public deserved to see her because that's a private moment, but the way that they really went past her funeral real quick. You know, usually there's a there's a little bit of a public view and they may have some pictures online but you better believe puff orchestrated them but we know that she's de she's deceased but what she's trying to tell y'all is no baby i wasn't sick i had gotten over that illness i believe her cards are indicating that she's saying that puff beat her to death and he spun the story to make it fit his narrative so he wouldn't be hurt in the process she died as a result not of an illness he just made it look like it was an illness she died as a result of puff beating on her that day y'all and i think more is going to come i never really truly believed that she passed from some mysterious illness because if it were like that then during that time when she passed COVID was coming up it wasn't the pandemic but it was pre-pandemic that was when obama was warning about some shit to come and this is why you really can't get underneath these politicians either because all of them hands wash each other. I believe that Puff beat Lady KP to death, allegedly. There was no illness. There was no trips to the doctor or the trips to the doctor was to explain, look, this man is whooping my ass. And because this was one of Puff's people, one of the doctors that Puff had hired for her or that's the doctor she has to go to. They weren't listening. They saw the bruising. They saw all of that. And Puff also made sure he had the money or used Clive Davis's resources to make sure that when they found her, then they found her body out here in L.A. One day out here, and they made sure that they spun the story to make it look like, oh, she just died from some illness when, in fact, she was beaten to death. We'll touch more on this later, y'all. All right.